when we hear the word tshuva, we have a few reactions to it. Either we recoil a bit or we feel fear or we feel guilty. There are so many different reactions to tshuva, but that is because we might not understand what tshuva actually is. So what is tshuva? Tshuva does not mean to repent. Tshuva does not mean to clop your chests in guilt and in pain and in fear. Tshuva literally means to return. Who are we returning to? So in fact, we are returning to ourselves. We're returning to the essence of who we are because we live the entire year under false personalities and identities that we create based on circumstances and experiences in life and they aren't really who we are. They could be safety mechanisms. They can be protection of some sort. Chuva means stripping away all of those external barriers and allowing us to rediscover and reconnect with our true selves. What kind of external barriers? They could be jealousy, they could be insecurity, they could be inadequacy, they can be comparison, they could be people pleasing, they could be anger, they could be over dominance, controlling, hyper functioning, anything that is a personality or a uh, reaction to something that we have experienced and therefore we've developed that personality. Those are all filters and we're living our lives with identities that are not really aligned with the essence of who we are. And that's what tshuva is. It's saying, that's not really you. That's a reaction. That's something that's external to you because the things we do are not the same as who we are. Mistakes that we make are not who we are. They're just something we've done. And that's why Vidoy is all about separating the action from the person. It's holding the action in front of you and identifying it. So tshuva doesn't just mean saying, oh, I did something wrong. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. No, no, no. Tshuva means getting down to the bottom of why you did it in the first place. Let's take speaking Lashon Hara. It's not just about, I'm not going to speak Lashon Hara again. It's sitting with yourself and saying, Okay, but why did I speak the Lashon Hara in the first place? Where did it come from? Am I feeling jealous? Am I feeling insecure? What made me do that? And then let's get down to why am I feeling jealous? Where does that jealousy come from? Let's figure it out. Let's connect with all the deeper parts of ourselves so that we can know why we do the things we do and how we can take them and move forward while leaving behind those parts that are not really who we are and not really connected to us. And that, my friends, is what tshuva is all about. So now you want to know, what can I do? I have identified an area of my life that I want to change. I've identified a mida, a behavior, a habit, a thought, a pattern. How do I change it? Here's the key to changing a habit and getting long-term results for changing that, whatever it is, that behavior, that media, that thought. We would think that maybe it's commitment, consistency, repetition, and all of that is true. We need all of it. But there's one thing that has to come before that, and that is identity change. Knowing that these behaviors that I am portraying, they're not really who I am. Identity change means seeing yourself embodying who you want to become and then aligning your behaviors behind that. It means that instead of carrying this identity of, I'm messy, I'm just a messy person. No, I am a neat, clean, organized person. That's who I want to be. That's who I'm going to see myself being. And then I will have my behaviors align with that new identity. I am not a morning person. I can't get up and go out to exercise. No, I am a person who gets themselves out of bed and goes to exercise. That's your new identity. And now your behaviors align with that new identity. That's how we change a habit. We change our identity. We see ourselves embodying who we want to become. And then we get up and we become that person. That's tshuva. Getting rid of rationalizations, getting rid of excuses that keep us connected and locked into our limiting beliefs and our limiting counterfeit identities. It means no, that's not right. So what? That's the story I've been telling myself for years about who I am. That's the narrative I've been having for so long. Well, we can change the story. We can change the narrative. We first have to change our identity. Oh, okay. I lived so long thinking that that's who I am, but you know what? 
doesn't have to be who I am because that's not who I want to be anymore. I don't want to be a person who, who has reactions like that, who speaks to people that way, who behaves in this manner, who says this, who does that. I don't have to be that person anymore. I can create an identity for myself that is more connected to the essence of who I am. And that is what this is all about. Who is the true me, not the, the stories I've been telling myself for so long. All of your habits, all of your behaviors, all of your midos, all of your thoughts, all of your patterns in life that don't align with the essence of who you are can be changed once you change your identity. And that is what Chuva teaches us. It is time to return to the essence of who you are. Get rid of all the barriers, get rid of all the obstacles, get rid of all the external things that are blocking you from rediscovering and reconnecting with the real you.